having lunch at the Shake Shack. I haven't had lunch here in a few months. Maybe not a few months, maybe it's been just a few weeks. I remember having lunch here maybe a month and a half ago. Yeah, and I had a hankering for some Shake Shack burgers, so I got me a Shake Shack burger. See? And of course, I can't have a Shake Shack burger without the cheese fries, the delicious cheese fries that they have. It's crinkly fries and then cheese. Alright, here we are. There are my, my crinkly fries and my burger. I'm gonna enjoy it here at Five Guys. There it is. This is the Shack Burger. Bacon cheeseburger here at the Shake Shack. See that? Better than in and out But more expensive. Mmm, look at that. It's a double burger, as you can see. Double patty. We got bacon, we got cheese, and I just put some ketchup in there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Get in my belly. Ooh, that was good. I had a bacon cheeseburger, double bacon, I mean double patty bacon cheeseburger here at, uh, at Shake Shack. Very good. Better than in and out. Guess where I am today. Yep, you guessed it. Back at the fourth place. I'm always here having my delicious hot pot on another really cold day. Ooh. It's really hot. It really warms the uh, the inside. It's a good on a really, really cold day. I'm happy now. I had my full, my full, uh, for this week. Now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and buy some bananas. Let's go. All right, just went to the grocery store. Just a quick trip to the grocery store to buy some bananas, as you can see, because uh, I'm almost out of bananas. Uh, yeah, it's a cold day. It's a very cold day. Not as cold as yesterday, mind you, but still very cold. Well, we're back in the city again. So you can see I'm filming with my, uh, with my iPhone again because uh, I forgot to bring my GoPro, but that's okay. This is a new iPhone and uh, it's got a better resolution quality than my old iPhone. Anyway, I'm back to the, going to the post office to mail out these packages here. That's what I'm going to do. And then after that, I'm going to get some money from the bank and then I'm going to have some lunch. So join me, shall you? Well, as you can see, we got some construction work going on here, which makes me have to go around the long way just to go to the post office. I shouldn't have gone this way because now I'm having to go the long way. Oh boy, this is crazy. Lots of uh, construction like this going on here in DC all the time, which people have to go around. Okay, see, I have to go around the construction that's going on over there. And now I have to go to the post office, which is here at the concourse shops, which is down in the bottom level of the concourse shops. Yeah, so let's go around this way. Here's an AT&T station, AT&T store. I can go around the front, but since I went all the way around, I have to go. It'll be closer just to go around the back. And uh, there's a door. Here's a. Yeah. Let's go in. All right, I'm finally here. I have to go all the way around the construction zone just to go to the post office. And here I am now at the post office. Looks like it's going to be another long day at the post office today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know what will happen though, as soon as I get to the front, this line will be gone. Which just goes to show you that I am the master of bad timing. There seems to be a lot of people uh, getting passports lately. Yeah, last time I was here, there were a bunch of people getting passports. I guess a lot of people are making their travel plans for the summer. 
international travel plans. I can bet you one thing though, they're probably not going to Ukraine. Eight hours later. Eight hours later. All right, after eight hours, I'm done. This used to be a Victoria's Secret. Remember when that was a Victoria's Secret? The Sephora? Oh, no. Another revolving door. I hate revolving doors, man. Anyway, all right. I realized I need to go to the bank to get some money for lunch because the postage on that item was a little more than I thought. So let's go to the bank. How did it get to be 1.30? Uh, 12.30 already. I just went out to get to the post office and now it's already 12.30. feel like I left at like 11.30. It took an hour to do that. Oh man. Now I only have a few minutes to have lunch. Here at the pot belly. Let's go. Well, that's my lunch. It's a meatball sandwich. Marinara meatball here from Potbelly. Yep. Well, that's where we are. Potbelly. Every lunch. But I'm done with lunch. I just did a all my, my meatball sandwich. Now I'm just going to relax for a little bit before heading back to work. Welcome back to Washington DC. Today I am going to try a new place to have lunch. It is called uh, Bar and Lounge 54. It is a Vietnamese restaurant on, uh, on 19th Street and I thought I'd try it because they had uh, pho on the menu and I wanted to see if it was better than the pho I would usually get at the place where I go uh, at home, okay? So let's go now to Bar and Lounge 54. Well, as you can see, it's a nice day. It's a nice bright sunny day. It's not as cold as it has been and uh, it's about 40 degrees right now, so it's not too bad. It's a very nice day to uh, to go out and have lunch. As you can see, maybe we can go to the park a little bit too. Hang out in the park here in the city. All right, I'm gonna have to wait for the crosswalk back there. And some people cross when there's a don't light, uh, where there's a don't walk light. Some people, like me, like to wait until there's a until the walk light is on. Or in uh, the UK, it's called the green man when the green man is on. But anyway, so I'm off to Bistro and Lounge 54. To have some lunch. Everybody, I'm trying this new place and I haven't been to before. This place is called uh, Bar 54 here in downtown DC. They specialize in Vietnamese cuisine. As usual, I will have my regular foga. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, that was quick. Not even five minutes. I already got my phone, as you can see. That. It's got onions and celery and little bits of things that are pretty good. This is the, uh, I ordered the special. $16 for the pho and a sort of an egg roll. Chicken egg roll. Alright. Let's dig in and see what it tastes like. Oh, look at my view. I got a room with a view, a, a, a table with a view. That's, uh, that's, I think, that's 23rd. It is. The Foga. Boner Petit. Exactly the same as the Puga I used to have, I uh, regularly have, but it's pretty good with its own price. Right. Uh, 
chicken. No, that's not chicken, that's tofu. They play some good music here too. The song you're listening to is Crimson and Clover by uh, The Runaways. Is it The Runaways or is it uh, Joan Jett? I forgot they had the uh, egg roll. Chicken egg roll. Well, all in all, it was pretty good. I give it a uh, maybe an eight out of ten. It's not as good as the four that I have in in the usual place. This one tastes a little blander. You know, and the chicken was a little bit tough. Maybe it was white meat. Maybe I should have ordered dark meat. Maybe. Oh no, maybe an 8 out of 10, which is pretty good. Here are the damages. They gave it to me in a clipboard here. Uh, <laughs> for the whole thing. Combo. Which is not too bad. It's about the same as I pay in the other place. That's the last hour. I tried to do a bar here. Being a five dollar chip. I didn't drink the water. I don't drink DC tap water. The DC tap water is not, not pretty good. It gives me diarrhea. So I drink bottled water here in DC. This place called this is called uh this place is called uh something or another 54 or something i don't know why exactly it's called uh bar 54 because this is uh this is 19th street should be on 54th street but there is no 54th street here in washington dc and she's kind of struggling because anyway I just had some full, and uh, I'm kind of full right now, so I'm just gonna walk it off a little bit. Uh, okay, let's go.